everyone. Welcome back to Clutch Situation. Today I have a mechanical pencil for you from one of my fast-growing favorite manufacturers, the Kokuyo brand out of Japan. And the Kokuyo brand has been around for a while, but since they're kind of niche here in the United States and you have to get them at specialty stores, if you only shopped at big box stores, you may not even know that this is a brand or that they would exist. It was only within the last year or so that I became of uh, Kukuyo is a brand, and to be fair, I actually had known the name several years ago while I was perusing jet pens, but the look of the mechanical pencil sort of screamed art to me more than function, and I was just straight up wrong, because once I started getting my hands on and trying out Kukuyo mechanical pencils, I noted that they have a lot of the features that I really respect in a mechanical pencil manufacturer. As a consumer, you can tell businesses who, when they design a product, are designing a product just to be able to market and sell it, and a business that designs a product to, of course, market and sell it, because you have to make money as a business, but they have that added love that produces a product that is actually useful and has features that an enthusiast would come to respect. And Kakuyo is one of those manufacturers. I've reviewed the Kakuyo Fit Curve mechanical pencil on the channel, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Kakuyo Colory mechanical pencil, which was sent to me by channel viewer Robogato, who has an anime shop in El Paso, Texas. Go check that out. So Robogato, once again, thanks for sending this to me. Kakuyo products keep impressing me. And they keep impressing me because of their functionality and the features that they have are features that are actually kind of dwindling in modern mechanical pencils. In this world where globalization has produced cheaper and cheaper and cheaper products, there are a lot of compromises that are made in mechanical pencils. And one of those big compromises that is made is in the key components of the mechanical pencil that you use in your everyday life. Sacrifices in the grip, sacrifices in the clutch, which holds the lead, sacrifices in the pocket clip. And don't get me wrong, the Kakuyo Colory is an economy mechanical pencil, just about as economy as you can get without purchasing like a Bic mechanical pencil at Target or Walmart. What sets Kakuyo mechanical pencils separately from other pencils is the small little improved details that for the price, you may be paying just a little bit more than what you would pay for a big mechanical pencil, but these added features are the tipping point that makes them better. And so I'm really excited to bring this Kakuyo Colory to you today because it sort of typifies these features that Kakuyo puts into its mechanical pencils that many manufacturers do not. And so if we just go on a quick tour of the pencil, you can see that it follows um, a usual uh, Japanese branding for mechanical pencils, bright and colorful and emphasizing art and aesthetics more over functionality. Not to say that Japanese branded mechanical pencils don't have functionality because they can have that as well, but since Japanese mechanical pencils tend to be uh, sold to students in school and they tend to sort of be collector's items that you show off to friends, Kakuyo matches that style. Now, just because it has that style does not mean that it doesn't have some awesome features, and I want to take you on a tour of some of those surprising features for the Kukuyo Colory. Now, where does the Colory name come from? Well, I've listed out here all the colors that you can get the Kukuyo Colory in, green, blue, purple, pink, and yellow. And although they tend to uh, be closer to, like, the bright... Um, highlighter style colors. I also think that they're more towards the primary version of colors than a lot of mechanical pencils that have very colorful lines are in. Like when something is pastels, you can tell that it's a pastel. When something is a strong, rich color, a uh, classic color like a deep blood red, you know what you're getting. These colors are sort of in between which I tend to prefer the bolder colors like the blood red, the royal blue, the royal purple. I tend to prefer those colors. And so in that regard, the colors of this line are a little bit more impressive to me. Let's take a look at some of the features. Now, this is an economy mechanical pencil. So pocket clip, it is made out of plastic, but it is also pretty rigid. It's not extremely bendable like a lot of pocket clips are for a lot of mechanical pencils. So if you were hooking this to um, your notebook 
or to your shirt pocket, it would definitely stay there. Also, an interesting feature on this clip that they advertise on the JetPens website is that there's a little hole where the clip is so that if you wanted to attach this to a lanyard or something, or I guess a key ring or something, I don't know why you would put it for keys on, on keys from an EDC perspective. It would be too unwieldy in your pocket. But if you had a key ring that you wanted to attach it to something else, the colory would do really, really well with that. To the eraser... It has this hexagonal design, and the color matches whatever the color is of the body of the pencil. It's not a very long twist-up eraser. It's less than an inch. But key feature here is that with this hexagonal design, and you can see that I've erased off part of it right here, these little points are opportunities for you to do some finer erasing uh, in tight spaces that you normally wouldn't be able to do with a big blocky eraser like that. And so that's just a small little touch on a mechanical pencil that is a nice little added feature that normally if you're using a big blocky twist up eraser, you would have to be a little bit more broad in your erasing and you would not be able to do as much of that fine erasing. To the tip, let's just go ahead and unscrew it. You can see that there's a spring loading in there. Okay. And you'll notice that there's still some lead left in the barrel here. And then there's some lead here. So the lead has broken here. But at, when I screw this back together, you'll notice that I'll still be able to use the pencil. And that is because of one of these uh, lead grip features that is similar to the um, Olinu line of mechanical pencils from Platinum that allow you to use the lead all the way down to a very small amount. Brass clutch. On an economy pencil. Wow. That would normally not be expected. And let's just go ahead and nail down the price on this thing right now because a brass clutch for this price is kind of unheard of. On jet pens, 1.65 USD. Now you notice that the lead was broken in the barrel of this pencil when I unscrewed it. I had no wobble or wiggle whatsoever when I wrote the cost down on the paper. And it's worth noting that this is at JetPens. And remember, you need $25 in order to get free shipping on JetPens. So if you went to JetPens and went to just buy a single one of these, it would be $1.65 plus the cost of shipping. If you had a $25 order uh, and you got free shipping, well, then you would get the full value out of this very uh, economically friendly mechanical pencil. So this tip for the colory has one of these features where it will grip the lead as advertised to the last three millimeters. Okay, not as good as the Olianu by Platinum, which advertises it down to the uh, closest uh, millimeter, but still better than nothing. And so for an economy mechanical pencil to have that feature, that's a key aspect of uh, this design that makes it a little bit better than most economy mechanical pencils that are out there. Uh, as to the grip, well, it's pretty much just a hard plastic. I think there is a slight difference between the grip plastic and the body of the pencil in that the grip plastic seems like it might be a little bit more pliable than the body of the pencil. And so that is uh, something worth consideration. I tend not to like fatter grips, but on this particular pencil, I really like the shaping of the grip. And so let's just go ahead and dive right in. Writing experience, I'm going to give it and okay plus. It's not the best grip that I've ever tried. I tend to prefer knurled grips, but still, you know, for an economy mechanical pencil, I don't hate writing with this at all. It's super lightweight. It feels really good in my hands. It has some uh, little depressions in the grip, little um, uh, circular uh, holes that I'm not really sure that they help with the grip of the pencil at all, but I certainly don't dislike the grip of the pencil in my hand at all. Quality, well, with that brass clutch, I'm going to give it an OK+. Plus. Okay. Normally, plastic mechanical pencil, usually pretty low quality. I've been using this for a couple weeks now, and I haven't had any problems with it whatsoever. The compound of the eraser does wear off pretty quickly. Like, this was just erasing just one little thing, and so that might be something that you might want to consider. Uh, you can't get replacement parts for this for a $1.65 mechanical pencil. It doesn't necessarily make all that much sense in order to purchase replacements other than from an environmental standpoint. And so if I were looking for a stretch for Kikuyo, my big stretch, 
stretch would be, well, you know, maybe replacement parts would be something that would be more environmentally friendly. But then again, when you think of the packaging that would be involved with the replacement parts, to some extent, we're sacrificing environmentalism just by having uh, writing utensils. But, you know, if I could avoid getting rid of this um, as a result of not uh, having a replacement eraser, I would definitely prefer to do that. In terms of features, surprisingly feature rich for an economy mechanical pencil. Okay, you got the little um, hole in the pocket clip. You have the six point eraser for fine erasers, which is also a twist up. You have the Olyanu style uh, tip to the pencil that would allow it to uh, use to the last three millimeters of lead. It has a brass clutch. And, uh, you know, with a conical plastic lead sleeve, I would also argue that this is also pocket safe. And so, you know, for features, I'm going to go with a good on this. You know, for an economy mechanical pencil, it's really, really good quality in that regard. And so, overall, the, for the cost, the Kukuyo Colory Mechanical Pencil is a really good value. On jet pens, a dollar sixty-five for an economy mechanical pencil that comes in a variety of colors and has all these features. Uh, this is something that I would encourage people to check out if you're looking for cheaper mechanical pencils. Now, I understand that everybody in the audience doesn't have the means to uh, purchase online because you do need a, a credit card or PayPal to purchase through jet pens. And if you want to get free shipping, you have to purchase twenty-five dollars worth of stuff, and so that's um, a consideration. But uh, definitely something for, for you to think about if you frequently order from Jet Pens, checking out the Kikuyo Colory. If you are looking for an economy mechanical pencil that is a really, really good value, I think that this is a great value. And of course, I got mine from Robogato and his uh, little anime shop in El Paso, Texas. And uh, so just wanted to give one more plug for that. I'm going to try to continue to... Uh, publish videos as the holiday season goes on, but holiday season is particularly busy, and so I just happen to have a little bit of a lull today where I was able to do this. Another thing that I was musing with today is that mechanical pencils aren't my only hobby, and so I'm thinking about starting up a secondary channel. If you are a subscriber to Clutch Situation, it may or may completely not be of interest to you. Uh, I've already uh, set up the brand channel. On YouTube, to set up another channel, you create a, a brand channel, and my brand channel is called RPG Imaginings, and role-playing games are like a huge thing that I do in my spare time besides make mechanical pencil videos, and one thing that I've noticed on YouTube is that like a lot of the niche RPGs that aren't tremendously popular, uh, so for example, Pathfinder, very popular. Uh, or Dungeons and Dragons, very popular. But I tend to gravitate towards some of the more uh, unique, smaller RPGs, and my major RPG that I love is Call of Cthulhu, which is now in its seventh edition. And so one thing that I've noticed uh, perusing YouTube is that I want to watch a lot of videos associated with Call of Cthulhu, but there are only a couple channels that actually publish videos about Call of Cthulhu. If you're interested in Call of Cthulhu role-playing, I recommend Seth Skorkowski's channel. He is also a fantasy author, and and he has a channel in which he mostly does uh, reviews of Call of Cthulhu RPG products. And then I'm also a big fan of Bud's RPG reviews, where he does a lot of Call of Cthulhu pro uh, products, but also RuneQuest and Warhammer role-playing. And so part of the reason why I'm starting up this new channel is because... I don't see a lot of reviews of the products that I'm really interested in. And so, as per always, I want to talk about these things with people. And so I think starting a channel for me is going to be a way to have an outlet so that I can get some of my thoughts about uh, more niche uh, RPG products out there. So if you're a mechanical pencil enthusiast and this is not interesting to you, you can feel free to go ahead and move on. But sometime over the coming weeks, probably after the holiday, I will post my first uh, video on RPG imaginings. And so that's something that you could check out in the future. I also have lots more mechanical pencils to review. I also have a mechanical pencil case to review for EDC, Everyday Carry. And so there's a lot more, much, there's a lot more coming up on this channel that I'm excited to share with you. And so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this review of the Kokuyo Colory Mechanical Pencil, a really great economy mechanical pencil for you to check out on jet pens. Have an awesome day.